Uh, welcome up once again to my youtube channel guys i want to repeat this tutorial so uh, recently i uploaded this tutorial but uh, the quality of audio was not uh, good and uh, the video did some uh, footage which was missing so i want to recreate this video for you guys and i hope you learn something this uh, structure it's called inflated structure inflated this structure the this structure which are inflated with air so i'm going to google the kind of structure like this to give you an idea uh, what is inflated structure what is it let's see uh, image you can see there are this kind of structure which can be used as temporary shutters or a celebration any kind of ceremony or any purpose which could be temporary so we're going to mimic one of like this and uh, not exactly like this uh, but more like this yeah let's start first of all let's disable this part and put away from the canvas and we bring rectangle rectangle after we bring rectangle so let's bring the domain to give it dimension and we make sure it is off both side because we want to have uh, uh, an, an, a square square so let's put 200 200 is enough here on domain first domain and we put negative um, negative to make sure that our square will be always at the middle so we are done let's bring uh, uh, this component called uh, mesh from surface uh, you can put surface like this to make surface out of rectangle or plug it directly from there so let's define u and v let's put 10 for example both sides after this uh, we are going to use kangaroo to form a dome uh, what we need let's bring all the stuff we need First of all, we need solver for simulation. Uh, second, we need anchor. We need uh, show mesh to show the mesh. We need HF. HF. We need loads. So this uh, component we are, we are going to use, and then we need Boolean toggle. Uh, Boolean toggle. Simply for the start of our simulation we need a button to keep reset our simulation so that's all we need let's come back to our mesh here um, put in show and then match show is always the first um the first to go for kangaroo so the second goal will be uh, edge length which we need to give the mesh so, uh, actually edge length apply the tensile strength to our mesh so the second is uh, loads let's put um, we find naked naked mesh which will give us all point cloth points and naked points which we need to to apply the loads so th those are the points we need and then we apply force in z direction uh, with uh, 10 which will increase it if necessary and then we want to define anchor point anchor point we define based from the rectangle we started from 
is first of all from discontinuity of our first rectangle then after continuity let's use fit circle fit circle this one to get boundary circle out of our uh, surface then uh, we use pull point the point we want to pull they are this naked point let's see what is the naked point uh, simply that this point rely on the edge so you want to pull it to the curve so we have them and then and uh, they should be our target and uh, the point we want to, to, to pull is that one okay the point we want to anchor is the naked edge so that's our other goals we're looking for supply there and been supply four goals or five goals show mesh edge length uh, loads and uh, the last one is anchor points okay Let's put it in kangaroo to see the simulation. But before it's bring bank or exploded tree, and then we put there and make sure I disable or everything. And then we display and put uh, open simulation. So. It's quite okay. Let's reduce the amount of of force or height. Here it is enough. Then after this point, the first part is done. Let's put data down to make a second part. The second part simply we are going to explode this mesh. After we explode this mesh, we are going to apply um pressure on our mesh let's explode i uh, will go here explode the mesh yes then we explode the mesh and then uh, refine refine our mesh for example put level of three to get a uh, good level of refine three and then join our mesh after join we weighted our mesh uh, unify our mesh almost okay this part also we still we need kangaroo so in this case for kangaroo what we want um first of all put match there and disable for temporary we need show as always show okay we need um uh, edge length length taking time mm, put for example uh, 0 0.5 the quarter of our edge uh, as a strength length okay then will be our second goal here we are going to find our define our anchor points simply find naked uh, naked edge then I'll get a, a naked point so from define mesh because we are defining each mesh we have a separated mesh a separated mesh so by getting naked edge we can extract the point we want as anchor point let's bring anchor Uh, 
as a target on the phone at the same time and we use it as the third goal then we bring pressure pressure let's find the room here pressure we probably we need value from one zero to one but make sure you put small value because if you put highest value the mesh will explode before you see it let's put it there okay as a sphere then put it as the goal then put it inside find the bank or explore the tree in the put our mesh as output then disable everything uh, uh, display and display everything then disable our solver yeah that's it and we are done quite done so I hope you learn something let's put a small star is like here one we see explode let's say explode let's put zero and eight for example yeah it's okay okay so we are done thank you so much let's uh, first of all back for our results then see we put um, stick modes you can see our structure let's put him up yeah that's it thank you so much see you next time bye bye and you can download this tutorial um, uh, down description below on youtube thank you so much make sure to subscribe and if you have a device you can give me or anything you want me to improve on i would like to hear you same so thank you so much see you next time subscribe bye